Okay, welcome to drawing challenge number four. And today we're gonna draw a dog, and I'm just gonna use basic shapes to show you how to draw a dog. Now I checked out some facts because I was interested in this myself, and I wanted to see how many different breeds of dogs there are out there in the world. And what I found through my Google search was that there were over 500 different breeds, and that's not including mixed breeds or designer breeds. So there are over 600 different types of dogs out there in the world and so it was really hard for me to narrow down what one specific dog we were going to draw today. Um, so as I was looking through images on Pinterest and different things that I wanted to look for um, to teach you guys how to draw a dog, I, I kept gravitating towards Basset Hounds and the more I thought about it the more I realized that I, I love Basset Hounds. I just think they're so cute with their little droopy eyes and their droopy faces and when I was a little girl, I went to go see The Fox and the Hound, and currently, right now, I'm reading The Hound of the Baskervilles, and I love Elvis's You Ain't Nothing But a Hound Dog song, so I guess somewhere inside of me, I am a Basset Hound lover. So I'm gonna show you how to draw one of these Basset Hounds today, and I'm going to use a fine point Sharpie pen. You can use a pencil, but here's a challenge for you. If you are worried about making mistakes, I would recommend getting a pen um, and drawing with a pen. That way you won't be sitting there trying to erase when things aren't perfect. And we're not going for perfect here, where this is just a drawing challenge. So, set up your paper. Now, I ran out of space in my sketchbook, so I got some computer paper, and I used this handy dandy little tool to draw four boxes on my paper, and I labeled it drawing challenge number four, dogs. And so I'm just gonna show you how to draw one dog today. Um, in this style and then you are going to go for the rest of the week drawing your own types of dogs either from observation or um, from pictures or images that you see that your parents might download from the internet or pictures that you might have of your own dogs so without further ado let's get started all right so I'm just gonna leave this here so we can look at it and I drew several different um, versions and as you can see I did the same thing here but they both turned out a little different and what I want to encourage you with is the fact that um, all of us are going to draw differently because we're all completely different people. And that's really awesome, that's great. I'm, you shouldn't be striving to draw like me or somebody else in your family and you certainly shouldn't give up if your, your dog doesn't look the way you expect it to look the first time, okay? That's why we draw numerous times or several times. Um, in, in the, as you'll see, it's different every time, but the more, the more times you draw something, you start to examine the shapes, you start to examine the different movements, you can add some personality to it, and then you can come up with your own style and your own technique because there's something inside of you that's special that will, will come out in your drawings. Okay, so let's get started. And I'm just gonna do this, just probably just the head and the body real quick for you. So we're gonna start out with the shape of the head and um, let's turn the paper this way so it's easier to fit it in. So the shape of the head is an oval. All right, so I'm just gonna go around a couple times, get an oval, and in the middle of that head, or oval, is the nose of the dog. So there's like a, there we go. You can color it in if you'd like. All right, now coming down here, we wanna get these big, huge cheeks coming out. So I'm going to come straight down and over straight down and over and then um, up here on top of the nose I'm just going to draw like big huge cheeks coming out like this all right and then underneath let's draw whoop. gives it a little bit of personality there all right so they're they're famous for no they're these little pieces coming up right here so we're gonna just draw this. Okay, so now we're getting the shape. Now, it looks like I need to make the head a little bit bigger, so I'm going to make the head a little bit bigger. And again, that's the, re the reason why I'm drawing with a pen here. I'm not worried about making mistakes or erasing things or making it perfect. It's okay that those are there, because this is just practice. All right, now let's draw these eyes. The eyes, their eyebrows are always, they always look like they're questioning things or wondering if they're doing everything right. Okay, there's one eye. And if I'm going too fast, just pause the video and get to a point where you can catch up, okay? All 
Here's the eyes, maybe get some sad eyes. Get some dots in there. Okay, now the ears, see the ears, they kind of come out a little bit and sag way down low, so I'm gonna come out just very. Alright, so there's the shape of one. Okay, so there's the shape of my ears. And again, look, it looks different again, doesn't it? It's not the same face that I had over here. And that's okay. If I wanted to shape this a little bit more. Alright. So now... Let's draw some of this body. So we're gonna draw just a U shape or a curve line down here. The feet, they're gonna come out of my box. That's okay too. All right, so. Down, down. And then sort of a rounded piece right there. Okay, so come down, down. Rounded piece. All right, and then the body, they have short little bodies too. They have short legs, short bodies, and I love it. All right, so the body is just sort of going to come a little bit like this. It's back leg. Okay, are you getting the hang of it here? If it needs to come a little closer, it can. And then the tail. Whoosh. Whoop. And there you have it, there's your little doggy. Now your challenge over the week is to draw your dog four different ways, okay? So choose a different way, it could be a different dog, it could be a, the same dog, but his face is going in a different direction, maybe he has a different expression, maybe you wanna practice doing this one a little bit different. I've noticed that now that I'm looking at it that the legs should probably come out here a little bit more, that would look better. It would make a lot more sense. It looks like the leg was a little close right there. And again, it's okay. It's okay to not get it right the first time. As a matter of fact, that's how you learn by making mistakes and growing from it, okay? So the more you work on this, the better you become. Have fun with this, and I would love to see some of your drawings on Facebook. You can tag me at Yellow Spot Sun on Instagram. You can have your parents, if they're okay with it, upload your pictures on um, the Facebook page. Have fun drawing your dogs, and we'll see you next time for our drawing challenge. Bye-bye.